Welcome to Code Lover, your one-stop destination for all things coding. We are passionate about helping you master the art of coding, from Java to Python, C++ to JavaScript. We cover it all. Our mission is to make the world of coding accessible and fun for everyone. Whether you are a seasoned coder, a budding developer, or just curious about the world of programming, Code Lover has something for you. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the fascinating world of Java. Let's start coding. Imagine a language that's not only spoken by humans, but also by machines. A language that transcends borders and operating systems and has been in use for more than 25 years. This language is Java, a programming language that has become a staple in the world of computer science and beyond. Java, developed by Sun Microsystems in 1995, is a high-level programming language with a strong emphasis on object-oriented programming. It boasts a range of features that make it stand out. These include simplicity, as it's designed to be easy to learn and use, portability, allowing it to run on various types of machines, security, offering built-in mechanisms to minimize damage, and robustness, meaning it's designed to eliminate error-prone situations. But how does Java differ from other languages, say, C++? Picture Java and C++ as two different types of vehicles. C++ is like a sports car, powerful, and offers lots of control, but it also requires a skilled driver. Java, on the other hand, is like an SUV. It may not be as fast, but it's more secure, reliable, and comfortable to drive. Java handles many complex details of the machine automatically. Details that C++ leaves to the programmer. To understand how Java operates, it's important to familiarize oneself with three key components. The Java Development Kit, JDK, the Java Runtime Environment, JRE, and the Java Virtual Machine, JVM. JDK is like a craftsman's toolkit, containing all the tools necessary to create a Java program. JRE is the stage where the Java play occurs. It contains the parts needed to run the program. Lastly, JVM is the engine that powers the whole operation, converting the Java bytecode into machine language. Every Java programmer has encountered the line public static void main string args. This serves as the entry point for any Java code. It's like the ignition key that starts the car engine. Without this line, the Java program simply won't start. In the Java world, the class loader plays a crucial role. It's the part of the Java runtime environment that loads classes into memory, sort of like a librarian who finds and opens the book you want to read. One of the key aspects of Java is its platform independence. This means that a program written in Java can run on any device, regardless of its underlying architecture. It's like being able to use the same electrical appliance in different countries without needing a converter. However, despite its heavy reliance on object-oriented principles, Java is not 100% object-oriented. This is because it uses primitive data types like int, char, or float which are not objects. It's like having a vegetarian meal with just a tiny bit of non-vegetarian ingredients. Wrapper classes in Java help to bridge this gap. They wrap the primitive data types in a class, allowing them to be used like objects. It's like putting a cover on a book to protect it and make it easier to handle. Finally, constructors in Java are special methods used to initialize objects. They're like a blueprint that guides the building of a new house, setting the initial state of the object. So why not dive into the world of Java? Give it a try, play around with it, and see how it can open up a world of possibilities for you. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and the journey to mastering Java begins with writing your first line of code.